Now take the filament holder and fix it in its place. And then place the filament onto it. While doing so, make sure that the loose end of the filament is on your left. Now take the power cable and then insert it in its place. Once done, you can turn on your 3D printer. By default, all the Fabric Series 3D printers will be factory calibrated for bed leveling. But there are chances during transportation that the bed leveling may go wrong. So it's always better to check your bed leveling before starting your first print. And for that, you need to click the knob once, navigate down till the assisted leveling and then selecting it by clicking the knob. Now take a sheet of paper and slide it in between the nozzle strip and the print platform. So the objective is that this paper should not move too freely as well as it should not get stuck in between. Accordingly, if you want to reduce the gap, you need to rotate this screw clockwise or if you want to increase the gap, you need to rotate the screw anti-clockwise. Let me do that. Now you need to repeat the same process on all the remaining three corners as well and for that you can use the next corner option in the LCD display. Now that you are done with the bed leveling, you need to preheat the nozzle to load your filament. And for that, select the nozzle once and then navigate down to temperature and then come down to preheat PLA and select it. Now the extruder will be heated up till 210. So once that is done, we can go to the next step. Now we need to take the loose end of the filament and insert it into the filament guider and take it out from the other end then we can load it into the top of the extruder for loading the filament you need to press the spring downwards and then push the filament on top of the extruder all the way in such that you will be able to see the molten filament coming out through the tip of the nozzle so for 3d slicing we will be using a software named cura and the first time when you are starting Cura, this is how the first time run wizard will be. And we are actually going to configure a profile for the particular Fabex Excel 3D printer that we have over here into this slicing software. And to do so, you have to start with clicking this next option. And in the select your mission wizard, you have to select the last option which reads other and then clicking on next. And this particular other machine information wizard will be changing between a MacBook and a Windows laptop. In a MacBook, you do not have to select any of these options and you can simply click on next. But in a Windows laptop, you have to make sure that the last option which reads custom is being selected and then you have to click on next. So in this custom reprap information, you need to enter the basic technical information about your 3D printer starting off with the machine name which is as I said a Fabex XL and the next three parameters which is the machine width, machine depth and the machine height are comprisively called as the build volume or the printable volume of your 3D printer and as a Fabex XL has a print volume of 270 mm I am changing these three values to 270, 270, 270 and the nozzle size has to be changed to 0.4 mm and then you can click on finish and after this window has loaded you need to go to file open profile and then select the fabexxl.ini file 
so yeah once that is done there will be some changes in these values which means that you have completely configured a 3d printer profile for the fabx excel 3d printer into the slicing software now let's see how to load and slice a model yeah for loading you can use this load icon so let's take one of the sample model that has been shared with everyone which is this xyzcube.stl file and this particular model is 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 a calibration model for a 3d printer and uh, as you can notice this is more of a cubical structure and also after you load any model this slicing bar will be progressing and once that progression is completed you'll be able to see the printable time which is how long will the printer take to create your particular model having this these slicing settings yeah and also the weight of the material that will be required and also the length of the material that will be required to create this particular model in your 3d printer so and then you can use this save toolpath icon which will enable you to save the equivalent g code file of the particular model now what we are going to do is you need to insert your sd card into your laptop and then this icon will get changed to toolpath to sd so you can simply click on to it which will make me to export the equivalent g code file for this particular model into the sd card so i can eject the sd card from here itself and then take the sd card load it into the printer and then start the print from there so so once the sd card is ejected from your laptop insert it into the sd card slot here and then press it once then you will be seeing this card inserted notification and click the knob once go down to print from sd click once and navigate down to the file name xyzcube.gcode and then click on to it now the printer will start printing your model